A jury found Donald Trump, leader of the political party of Jesus Christ and family values, liable for sexual abuse and defamation. Intrigued? Then click that like and subscribe and enjoy the video. So after late last week's collaboration with my buddy Luke Beasley, thank you for the shout out and collaboration by the way, as well as the many new supporters and subscribers, um, I actually went on a family vacation, hence the uh, intense tan that I've got going on, and I thought it would be a slow week politically. But it turns out it wasn't, and everything that could possibly have happened politically happened. One of the biggest news, uh, or pieces of news, is that former President Donald Trump, the front runner for the Republican Party, a party that claims to be that of Jesus Christ and family values and good Christian ethics, um, he was found liable by a jury of his peers as being guilty of sexual abuse of a woman named E. Jean Carroll uh, and defamation of E. Jean Carroll based on an assault that occurred in 1995 or 1996. Um, this is extraordinary um, for many reasons because the decision came in after three hours of deliberation, which really isn't much even for a jury in a civil case, which this is what it was. It wasn't a criminal case, so Donald Trump is not going to jail because of this verdict by the jury. Uh, but he has been ordered to pay about $5 million in punitive and compensatory damages to E. Jean Carroll because based on a preponderance of evidence, um, he has been found liable for sexually abusing her and defaming her character. And that's huge for a variety of reasons. I mean, not only is he a celebrity, not only is he a former president, but he may very well be the next president in 2024 if, you know, things go as terribly as sometimes they do. So I want to play some clips here. Um, I'm sure some of the news, again, you're familiar with, but uh, I want to play some news from Fox News in particular because, again, the schadenfreude is rich. Remember, Donald Trump is their guy. They've given this man so much coverage, so much cover as well over the past few years that seeing them have to read this verdict is just chef's kiss. So let's see what uh, Fox News has to say. Can you tell us? The verdict right now is on the question of whether or not Mr. Trump raped E. Jean Carroll. The, the uh, jury has found him, uh, has said no. But on the question of whether or not she was sexually abused by the former president and whether or not he forcibly touched her, the jury has come back and said yes. They have found him liable for sexually abusing and forcibly touching E. Jean Carroll back in 1996. Uh, that is what we have thus far, guys. So that was the first clip, um, because again, so the the accusation, the allegation was of rape, um, and the jury has found that there was not enough evidence to uh, consider Trump liable for that. But then they found him liable for sexual abuse and forcible touching, which is also, I mean, obviously a form of grotesque sexual assault. Um, so that's one clip. But then comes the defamation charge. Let's see what Fox News has to say about that charge. What can you tell us? Martha, this jury has found that uh, former President Trump did defame uh, e. Jean Carroll. They have found him liable for defamation, and they say that he must pay $2 million to e. Jean Carroll for the battery charge. Uh, no, no word yet on how much they have allotted in terms of the defamation charge. And remember, this defamation charge was about those... Uh, they have the, the burden of proof for defamation was that it had to be clear and convincing that the statements made about E. Jean Carroll were not only false, but that they were done maliciously and out of hatred or ill will, spite or recklessness. And they have found that he is liable for defamation. And they have a, said that uh, former President Trump should be paying, uh, should pay E. Jean Carroll two million dollars, at least for the battery charge. Okay. So for the defamation charge, it was ultimately determined that he would pay about uh, $3 million. So $2 million uh, for the sexual abuse charge, $3 million for uh, the defamation charge for a total of about $5 million. Now, uh, Donald Trump has said that he's going to appeal these charges, which of course he will, um, and he doesn't have to pay the $5 million as long as this is on appeal. And there's no telling what might happen. He may very well win his appeal. Um, but uh, overall, this is obviously a damning um, you know, verdict from a jury, even in a civil case, even though there's no threat of jail time or anything else. Now, <clears throat> in normal political times, this would be the end of Donald Trump's career. But how many times have we said that over the years about all the crazy things that Donald Trump has, has done and said, right? Um, especially, again, when he's fronting the party that claims to be the party of Jesus Christ, which regardless of what your religious beliefs are, if you look at the New Testament, the Bible, Jesus uh, is 
pretty intolerant of hypocrisy. He's a firm believer in holding one another accountable. Safe to say that um, this is not commensurate with the teachings and philosophy of Christ, again, regardless of whatever your personal religious convictions are. So this is further proof that the Republican Party has lost its way. Um, this should be the end of Donald Trump's career, but it's not. And we'll probably do a couple of videos about that because, of course, since in the 24 hours that this has happened, Republican leaders have been asked about this, people like Kevin McCarthy and Mitch McConnell and Mitt Romney and so on and so forth. And um, the, the answers the responses from the Republicans are mostly cowardly, um, but again, that, that's probably the topic for a separate video. Um, so yeah, this is a really interesting case. The, the last thing I'll point out is this case, because again, you heard it correctly, this incident occurred, this assault occurred in 1995 or 1996. Um, so this is well past the, the expiration date of the statute of limitations for um, prosecuting a sexual assault case, even in a civil trial. Uh, the reason that this occurred was because in uh, May of 2022, uh, Governor Hochul of uh, New York signed um, the Adult Survivors Act, uh, the ASA, which basically created a one-year window for survivors of sexual assault to make a case against their abusers, um, even if the expiration uh, on the statute of limitations had long passed. It was actually kind of a successor to a 2019 law that New York imposed about um, um, uh, uh, child abuse. So like there was basically the equivalent for, for survivors of child abuse where it op created a one year window where survivors of child abuse could turn and uh, make a case against uh, their childhood abusers. So this is, um, this is kind of a sequel to that. Um, and it's basically the means by which that this case was able to occur. Um, e. Jean Carroll has experienced some degree of justice from this. Um, Obviously, it doesn't make up for what happened. And we'll see if Donald Trump is able to somehow shirk any sort of, I don't know, accountability here. Because, again, he is appealing and there's no telling what might happen. Uh, but this is a solid step in the right direction. It seems like the walls of justice are finally closing in on Teflon Don, which is good news.